Hello everyone, Aidloy here with another update. This time I brought you ducking zones. Well, the majority of it. Currently you cannot drop and uh, split on hover. There is currently no drop interaction yet. But this is the basis for, for it. This is uh, going to be uh, the basis for the floating panels as well. Currently the floating panel is a standalone thing, but it should really be like a floating docking zone with a panel inside. And if you have more panels, they should be organized to tabs. So that's how the whole thing should be structured later on. But to do that, I first had to create the layout management of all of the docking zones. And what you see here is actually the example I have that uh, shows me if the docking zones are laid out correctly. Um, this is important because the docking zones don't know um, if they are columns or rows at the at, at the moment when you uh, create them. So if we have a look at the code, I have a row directly in the uh, root node, which is the center of the screen. So below the menu bar until this footer thing. And I create docking zones inside this row. And logically, if, you, if this is a row, um, you know, the container is a row, the, the docking zones inside should be columns. And this is what you see here. So this one, this beige thing is actually a static column. So it has a static width and it's not interactable. So when, when I'm moving it, the second docking zone is the one that's actually being updated because that's on the other side of uh, the first docking zone across this uh, static thing. And you have the same thing here. When two are next to each other, it's a direct update. You don't have to look across uh, any other element. And that's the first uh, docking zone, which is the column, which has more docking zones inside. The labels here are just, you know, there for me to uh, debug which entity it is uh, that I'm currently looking at because I, you know, had to look at the uh, sizing and everything from the console. Um, but immediately after the label, we have another docking zone, uh, which contains more docking zones. You see here again and again. And instead of just having, you know, columns in columns in columns, they actually rearrange themselves to be not columns or rows. These ones are actually columns inside a row, but you cannot see uh, the, the container row actually. You see the entity ID here, which is the, the green one. This is the green one too. It's, it, this one is just like that. That's why you can, um, add, or <laughs> that's why I can adjust the height of it because this is a row that contains the other ones, which are columns. Um, I can't change the size of it right now because these have a minimum width or well, a minimum size because again, you don't know if it's a, if it's a row or a column, but the thing is that the whole layout system needs to consider uh, the children of each of the docking zones. So when I, when I uh, squeeze this, it actually um, constrains to the minimum size of all of the uh, docking zones inside. So there is a little safety there. And this one is also constrained. And if we look at the row, this one is also constrained, but it's, you know, vertically and not horizontally. So going back to the code, um, there is not much else, else to show really. Um, each of the, the docking zones have a size, which is a percentage of the container uh, relative to the container and the minimum size, which is actually pixels. And uh, this is going to be minimum height or minimum width, depending on which um, flex direction the docking zone is currently uh, being laid out. And we have a background color here, but this is, it, it will probably go away because the, the background color is just important for, for <laughs> finding my columns and, you know, making, making something nice to look at. The floating panel here is also uh, because I had to debug that uh, anything that's not uh, positioned relatively 
would not offset uh, any of the docking zones because this uh, floating panel is actually part of the central container. It's somewhere somewhere between the columns here. Yeah, there you go. If you look at the code, it's right there. Uh, but this is this is positioned absolutely, and uh, that's not something that I can easily support, or, well, there is no meaning in supporting something that uh, may or may not be part of the overall layout of, of your docking panels or docking zones. Also, uh, there is a little artifact with the uh, handles. Uh, you can probably see it, that they do not uh, go all the way to the edge of the container or, you know, across the container. This is because Tuffy currently doesn't support the negative margins. However, if there is a place where the uh, border or the, the handles overlap, I actually already support like grabbing multiple ones. And this is quite easy. However, this also creates a little um, problem uh, with my floating panel, as you can see, because I'm both dragging and resizing at the same time when I'm grabbing the handle above the title which creates this little uh, weird effect but this should go away also good news uh, bevy 013 has been released which means i can work on the floating panel and actually uh, i should be able to pop it out from the main window uh, to its own window so when you go out of the screen uh, you can actually open a new window and uh, you know, carry on with, with multiple windows uh, at your disposal. It should be fairly simple now, and I hope it will work out as I, I, I imagine it, um, which would be a good addition uh, for, for the tabs. So until next time, have fun. Ciao, ciao.